Oh, there's a whole bunch of kitty cats here. Hey, kitty. You're a nice kitty cat? Oh, you're nice. You're a nice kitty? You come here, kitty. Yeah, you're a nice kitty, too. Are you all sisters and stuff? Boy, you're nice. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you. I guess you're all siblings. Come here, kitties. Come here, baby. Come here. You're a nice kitty cat. You're a nice kitty. You're the brave kitty. This is a brave kitty, too. Yeah, these are brave kitties. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, honey. Look at this nice kitty cat. Oh, you're afraid of the car? Well, I like you. You're nice. You're a nice kitty cat. Those are nice kitties over there, too. But well, you're the leader. Yeah, I love your tail. Wow. You don't mind me playing with your tail? You don't mind a bit, huh? Well, you're such a good kitty cat. I like you. You're nice. You're nice kitties. Yeah. You're such a good kitty. You coming over to play, kitty? You're just hanging out, huh? Well, there's a whole bunch of kitties here. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of kitty cats here. Wow. Well, I remember you're here. Come over and say hello. Okay? I guess you all kind of hang out here, huh? All right, kitty cats. We'll see you later, kitties. Boy, can you believe that? It's rare when you see a cat that will allow you to get close to it. And that must be a whole uh, family full of them right there. They're probably all siblings. Oh boy, I hope this one doesn't follow me. Oh, that one's following me. Oh, I don't want him to go get hit, you know? Oh, I have to step on it here. I hope he doesn't follow me. I had a little cat that I picked up from a kitten. And uh, when I was staying with Charlotte, uh, I tried to raise it, but the, uh, the dogs wouldn't allow it. Uh, Molly wasn't bad. It was the other dog. Hazel, who I didn't like until uh, at some point of time I began to really like Hazel. And uh, I really respected Hazel after a while. She was she was um, probably Charlotte's favorite. She was an old girl and uh, grumpy, and she would bite you if you weren't careful. But um, she was okay. And uh, the... Uh, uh, I don't even want to say it, but Charlotte killed that dog, and uh, it wasn't my house, so I couldn't really step in on things, really. I couldn't really do it, but she only wanted to feed them so much, and that was the problem. And uh, I got that cat, and the cat damn near got paralyzed, So um, because that uh, Hazel dog, Hazel... Uh, it really um, almost killed it so I had to take the little kitten back down the street where it was and that's what it would do it would follow me it would actually follow me uh, for you know like two or three blocks it would follow me I hope that cat's not doing that here and uh, you know it was kind of like because it, it like, you know I I had it for like two weeks so the, the cat was kind of attached to me and it was so funny because, you know, like there was a whole bunch of cats there that it used to hang out with. And when I'd walk in the morning, uh, I would walk by and then the cat would see me and I'd always stop. And I, you know, the cat would come up and run up to me and it would look at the other cats and would say, look who's here. Look at this. It's so fantastic. Look at him. He's coming. And the other cats were just completely disinterested. And... Um, that went on for about another two weeks. And then uh, she kind of started to grow a little bit and uh, turned out to be a really big cat. And uh, I remember it uh, down the block there and uh, had a sister, I think that cat had a little sister. And that cat turned out to be a great big cat. And kind it was a male too, it was a male. So it was kind of taken care of. And I felt good about it because um, the the mother 
had a sister over there or something, the mother cat. And um, they they really liked that male. That that they really took care of it very well. And uh, you know, like uh, you know, punished the cat when it needed to be punished, and uh, scolded it when it needed to be scolded. And, you know, and they got the cat uh, onto you know what a cat should do. And um, you know, so I was grateful to that uh, for that. But uh, boy, I can't believe that I found a bunch of cats right here, not far from you know what's going on here. So, anyways, folks, I I did the news, but I got cut off, and uh, we'll just uh, call it a wrap. It's Friday evening, and on Friday in the evening, nobody watches anyway, right? So tomorrow is Saturday. And uh, it's almost a free day. I got to go out and I got to do one thing. And then uh, after that, um, I would like to go and work out a little bit. I would like to get out and do some, uh, you know, some running and stuff like that. But I can't really. I have to just kind of walk right now. That's, uh, that's about all I should be doing. And uh, just keeping my blood flowing. And uh, I did pretty well today. I had a full uh, public submarine sandwich, uh, and then I had uh, two Entenmann's chocolate frosted donuts, and I had some chips with some salsa, and there weren't very many of those. And that's it. I didn't, and I had some of those uh, little baby peppers, or those small peppers, those uh, orange peppers and yellow peppers and whatever they are. And uh, I had quite a few of those, but I don't think there's too many calories in there. And that's it. So um, I know that this is the first day. And am I hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I could very easily go into Taco Bell and, uh, uh, you know, grab a couple uh, burritos or whatever. But I'm not going to do it. I know because I have to shed weight. And if I don't, I'm going to start having the usual problems that come with being 230, 240 pounds. And I don't care if I'm five foot ten or not. This is enough is enough. Got to get this weight off. So today was the first day when I walked, albeit in the shade, where it was just, it was easy because it was cool. And it, you're just fighting the, the tiredness of the motion. You're not fighting that horrendous heat that we've been going through. So at least in the morning. By 11 o'clock, everything changed and it was hot again. So, but uh, now it looks like I'm gonna do about 12 miles today. That's how that's how much I've done, and I've got about another half mile to go, and then that's about it. And I'm gonna take it easy and try to uh, relax tonight and get a good night's sleep. Uh, I hope you all are doing well tonight on this Friday evening. Thank you for being here with me, and uh, hope you enjoyed the little kitties there. Very unusual. As a matter of fact, I've never seen that. I've never seen when they, well, the last time, like I told you there, when I had that little cat, there was a whole bunch of them on the front lawn of the place down from Charlotte's, and uh, that's the last time I saw it, but all those cats didn't want to come up to you. There were two or three cats that came up to me here, which I thought was pretty good. I didn't even have any food. So I tried not to scare them, you know, because they're very quick to pick up on your uh, quick motions. Anyways, folks, take care. Have a nice weekend if I don't see you again. But I'll try to be back with you tomorrow, Saturday. Take care. Have a nice night.